This episode is brought to you by Squarespace. If you need a domain, website, or online store, make it with Squarespace. My name is Carl. I'm Madison. And this is our ambulance camper, aka the Campulance. Also known as Triceratops. So prior to buying the ambulance, I was just on the road camping out with Camp Trent, which is my brother and Nives. I was traveling with them and their camper, just tent lifing it, and on the road I was just meeting a lot of people living out of their vans or their trucks. That was a lifestyle that really resonated with me, so I started saving for that for about two years. Never really considered getting an ambulance. Found this guy on Craigslist. It really just had everything I was looking for as far as a great engine, a great solid build. When he first told me about it, I thought it was a joke. <laughs> I was in a tiny cabin, and then we moved into a yurt for the summer. I think we were accustomed to living in small spaces together. It really made the transition pretty easy. It wasn't like we went from a big house to a super small space. I mean, I've been doing it out of a tent for the last two years, so this is like a luxury upgrade for my lifestyle. So this is it. This is our ambulance camper, AKA the Campulance. It is a 1997 Chevrolet K3500, four wheel drive, diesel engine, and it weighs about six tons with all of our stuff in it. So it's pretty heavy and you can feel that driving around turns and going up hills, but it's super reliable. Average around 12 to 13 miles per gallon. It does have two tanks. If you want to check out the front here, the first feature are the sirens. It still came intact with the siren speakers and a PA system. So that's what's coming off here on a super heavy duty bumper. On the front half here is painted with this stuff called Monster Liner, which is pretty much a homemade Linex kit. And it's supposed to just be chip resistant and scratch resistant and all that. So I really want to do that to the entire ambulance. Moving up front here, pretty standard cab, just a two seater. But the best thing I like about the ambulance is the outside storage. Well, the storage overall, but there's a lot of closets around the outside where we keep our big gear and pretty much our long-term storage. Anything that's immediate, we keep on the inside. In this one, we keep an inflatable boat, some climbing gear, our backpacks. Our second closet here is our tools. Pretty much everything we need for building or adding stuff to the ambi or doing car maintenance. Uh, probably use the air compressor the most. Got the biggest tool here just for filling up on tires. We also have trash access here as well. It drops in through the main cab. That's our pup Ori, by the way. <laughs> Moving back here is our third closet. This is where we keep our water systems. So this one here, when you see inside, is plumbed to our sink. That's six gallons. This one here is seven gallons of fresh drinking water. Other things to keep in here, spare tire, a little bit of extra gas, oil pan for when we do all that. Yeah, these two back doors are usually open when we're at camp, but it just gives you a nice look into the inside. And this just provides a lot of light and a good area to chill on our cooler here. So this is mainly how it is, as long as the weather permits us to, to keep it open. Another closet here is just our tallest closet where we keep our skis. And this red bag, our fishing pole is always ready to go right here. We have some leather and suede crafts for making and selling art on the road. Other closet, just general camping gear, tents, backpacking stuff. Pretty much anything we use for outdoor living is kept in here. We've got a window, which you don't see too often on modern day ambulances. I'm not sure why that is, but that comes in clutch when we're sleeping. You can access our closet, which, you, which you'll see from the inside, but you can get it from the outside as well. And then under here is just the two batteries for the truck. That charges as we run and we can plug into that when we're camped for probably two or three days, a couple hours each day. But the eventual project is to put solar on the roof so we can run those systems without draining the car batteries. We do use these floodlights pretty frequently just when we pull into camp and help getting set up. We, we don't use this center one. You can tell it's gonna get ripped out by trees when we drive on the Forest Service roads. Welcome to the inside of the campulence. Come on in. First here we've got our closet, which is really accessible and nice and packed with all of our stuff. We've got one section for Carl, one section for me, and we share the shoes. We share a lot of clothes too, just to make it work. <laughs>
All of these cabinets that you see in here came with the ambulance originally. Even this red leather upholstery that you see throughout the cab here. Right here, we've got this awesome chair. It was already in. Pretty comfy. And there's a pass-through cab right here. We've got all of our utensils here. Carl kind of showed you the outside, but on the inside, this is how our garbage system works. So we have a waste circle here and we can just throw our waste recycling down in there. This light panel was also in the ambulance already. Suction, exhaust fan, and all of the lighting that's in here. Whenever it's nice and it's not raining, we're definitely outside doing all the cooking. Uh, and this is a nice setup for the stove if we are inside and it is raining. In this cabinet right here, we've got all of our dishes and our cookware. We keep that all stored together right there. Uh, this is a hand pump sink. So it works like that. But down here, this is our toiletry zone. <laughs> we have hand towels, creams, all that good stuff. <laughs> Soaps, essential oils, magic. You've got extra storage for sleeping bags, towels, uh, some fabrics that lives there. And, and this one here is my art cabinet. So those are my vintage suitcases full of art supplies. All right, and last but not least, this is where our drinking water is. So we have it face down right now so we can easily fill up anything here. Um, it sits upright as we're driving. This is our K2 cooler, also a couch to the outside, and also our fridge, <laughs> three in one. So we've got all of our goodies in there. Keeps it nice and cold. We have a dry bag that we use for our ice uh, and that keeps everything fresh and all the water and whatnot out of this situation. It's a bug screen, so it rolls all the way down to the floor if needed. Yeah, over here is just more cabinets. This one is kind of our library, our office miscellaneous storage. They have all these plastic inserts in every single cabinet. So you can move those around to really lock things in there, which is super clutch when you're driving down these bumpy roads. Same thing over here, just kind of more open miscellaneous space. We have our ukulele here. Hasn't seen much time yet, but it will. Ooh. And then uh, <laughs> the all-star of the inside, which we haven't pointed out yet, is this bar right here, which you can just kind of hang off and hang stuff on and work out, stretch. So I recommend a bar like that in all vehicles. The last major feature back here, which we recently updated within the month is this bed. And then we have these four legs, which is our system for now. <laughs> four, three, two, and one. Four, three, two, one. Each leg has a spot because this floor in here is a little bit uneven. So each one needs to be cut a little differently, but Whatever, it's van life, ambi life. This is how it is. So first step, we just fold it up. Has a rubber uh, undercoat here just to hold the futon when it's in place. But otherwise it just folds out. Each leg has a number to a specific spot. <laughs> we find that's been working. There we go. We also stain this frame and pretty much all that other wood we put in here to a red mahogany just to kind of make it feel more like a cabin, but we're slowly working on adding more wood. But anyway, so when we're done, we just slide it this way. Roll out some sheets, you know, throw the pillows back on. And the best feature about this bed is, A, you can just open these doors right here and just kind of be wherever you're at. But another great feature is this window, like we talked about earlier, really is great just to wake up to wherever you're parking next to. And this is the inside of the ambulance. Hopefully you've never seen one before, because I never saw one before until I bought it. So. It's a magical mystery. Yeah. <laughs> it's a good sign when you're living in an ambulance and not getting picked up by one. So. <laughs> <laughs> The 
some quick research I can recommend if you're going this route is check government auction websites or call local counties, just kind of see what's being retired. Don't be so serious. We like to be in the moment. We talk about that a lot. Yeah. Try not to project too much about what's in the future, or what's to come, or getting stressed out about the things that we can't control at, at the time being. Well, my message would just be to travel and just be open to stepping outside of your comfort, comfort zone and your quote unquote normal life, whatever that may be. Be open to change and open to trusting the kindness of people. Just get out there, get outdoors, free yourself. Experience something new. Spread the love. Spread the love <laughs> and be awesome every day. <laughs> we try to be. <laughs> and thanks for watching. <laughs> Oh, one last thing too. This, I don't know what it used to be used for, but this is just a safe for our valuables. And now you know where it is. If you find the ambi, don't steal that. But <laughs> I hope you guys enjoyed this week's episode. If you did, be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. And check us out. We're at Camp Trend. We're on Instagram. We're on YouTube. Thanks for watching. Peace. Aloha. Great to see you again. About to finish that Squarespace ad. In our modern day, I believe that everybody should have a website. I have a website, it's beautiful, it's made by Squarespace. I use Squarespace, and here's why. Starting anything is pretty daunting. A lot of people never start because they don't know where or how to begin. Squarespace takes away that because they provide you with beautiful templates. I use Squarespace and I'm basically a chimp that has access to technology and I've figured it out and now I have a beautiful website. Squarespace is an all-in-one platform. You got site, domain, and store and a 24-7 customer service and if you've already got a domain you can transfer that over to squarespace go to squarespace.com for a free trial and whenever you're ready to launch your site use squarespace.com forward slash dylan and you'll get 10 percent off of your first purchase of a website or a domain thank you and good night